and welcome back to Heavenly Farms. My name is Letty and today I am going to update you in what's been going on since my last video. This past winter was the first one that we spent here in our off-grid property and we did not know what to expect. We are a zone 9 so we knew that the colder weather was not going to be as cold as a Utah winter but without the commodities of central heat it was an interesting winter however right now spring is in the air you can hear the birds chirping today is sunny there's not a cloud in the sky and some days it gets pretty cold but some other days we just can take advantage of the nice weather so we are in project mode we are getting goats so we have to build a goat barn but it's kind of tricky because that goat barn needs to have a birthing stall because a couple of the does we're getting will come pregnant so it's gonna be interesting we're also getting a couple of boys so we're gonna have to put them in different pans and but it's kind of an experience and I wanted to share it with you in this video. The first thing we did was try to kind of level the kind of the end of this pen that we are in right now and try to level it as much as we could. There was a bunch of debris, fallen trees and everything in that area so we spent the weekend Kind of leveling that. I have a friend that had trees, they cut them into two by four, some two by six, and then they didn't use them. So now they're cleaning the barn, they want to get rid of them, and we've been going slowly and, and trying to bring stuff here to really use everything, kind of make it into our gold barns. The wood that we got from our friends. There's a bunch more, but this is what we're using to get things started. This will be used for the walls. Now that we're done, we just put the, have to put the plywood or maybe use some of that thin wood over there in the back to do the floor. Maybe put like a thin plywood and then that on top to make it even stronger. But this is going to be for the walls. And so eventually, you know, this will be a really nice goat shed. But I want to introduce them to you and kind of show you in this video a little bit of what we considered being first time owners of goats, what things we should know since we had to pick our buck to breed the girls. This fall, we're gonna breed at least one of them and the recommendations of Arisha at Hansen Never Done Farms. Hi! How's it going? Oh, hello, beautiful girl. Hi, you're cute. How's it going? You wanna chew on the camera? No, if we're filming you, because you're awesome and you're so pretty. Oh, hi, nice to meet you. I think we met. So, are these three? It's this, this, this one, one, that one, that one, and, and that one. Him. If you want, if you want to take one okay. as a buck and one as a weather, which one would you pick? Okay, for the buck. Yeah. Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I'm gonna see which one stands the widest. Okay. His back legs are. That's yeah. what I'm looking for. Okay. Because that means he's gonna be wide. Okay. And it allows more room for the udders. I'm gonna look. I want a good wide back end. Okay. I want him to be wide. But that's what I'm Aww. looking for. I want to see how he walks. Does he stand good on his feet? Oh, he has I don't followed know. me from the day he was born. 
I would have to take him and and push him back from the gate because he tried to follow me through the gate. He's so sweet. Oh, just good boy. Hi, sweet boy. See, now he's little. Yeah. I wouldn't recommend him for a buck. Okay. Even though he's got the wide stand and everything, right. he was a runt. So I won't leave him as a buck. I'm going to weather him. Okay. I wouldn't even offer him as a buck. Okay. He's bigger. He's bulkier. Okay. I mean, he's a little bit taller, but he's wider. And he's okay. just, he's got a good hip. I like his hips, and I like the way he's standing right here. Hi. Hi. What are you doing, girl? Oh, you're so pregnant and so cute. I was really scared. I've been on the phone. With sweet us. is. And now she is a sweetheart. Annabelle is the one that she kind of hides, huh? I was looking yeah. for no, the other. Oh, there she is. Oh, hi. Hello. Oh, you like that guy? Uh -huh. I love my brother. And you love your brother? Oh, you're so sweet. I don't like him. <laughs> but he is a buck. Hang out close. So, would they breed them? Yep. Like, how, how yep. long do you have before they start? He's only, what, three or four weeks old? He's not old enough. So is it eight weeks? About eight weeks is whenever I take the boys away. When you fix that little guy over there, mm -hmm. you put the band, and mm -hmm. then how long does it take until it... It can take up to three months, but you don't have to do anything. Just check it once a week, make sure it's not, you know, infected, which I've never had a problem. Okay, okay. It'll, I mean, it'll tear away, it'll get kind of raw looking, but it'll be just fine. You're so sweet, Mocha. I cannot. I cannot. Girl, I cannot. Hi. Hi, baby girl. Hi. She wants to eat my purse. You want to eat my purse too, Mocha? Huh? You want to? Oh, my goodness. Wait, Be nice. You're just Be so nice. sweet. It's okay. Right. And so if you're taking the milk and the babies are taking the milk, they're going to increase their production. Right. And of course, you want to feed them more because they're making more. It's just like a human. Right. The first one is going to be Clara. She had a couple of boys this spring at Hanser Neverland Farms. I'll have her delivery in the description box down below. She is so very sweet. She's so gentle. She's so like a very friendly goat. I'm also bringing a couple of her daughters. She kitted those girls, their sisters. It's Mocha and Annabelle. Annabelle has blue eyes and is bold, which means she doesn't have horns naturally. And then Mocha, that is her sister, it's more, uh, she looks more like Clara. She's darker and she's more of a chamoise than Annabelle. And they're just both beautiful. They are going to be the ones that will come pregnant. We also picked a couple of boys and they are from Kalani, that's her star at Hanser Neverdon Farms. And one of them, the buckling that will come to breed our girls, is so beautiful. She put a little blue color on him and he's so sweet. He likes to be held and he's like very, very people oriented. And then we also picked his brother who was very tiny and I think he was the, the smallest in uh, of the brothers and he will come as a weather so he can be a companion to our buck. We also got a new puppy and her name is Hope. She is mostly a Kalahula hound. I'm pretty sure that's how you say it. So she can't help it. She needs to chase every single animal. So I am training her today inside the duck span. Hope. I am trying to train her to be nice to the ducks and to be exposed because I don't want her to turn into a hunter of my own animals. So 
it's been a process but it is uh, definitely something that we are working on and she still doesn't get it a hundred percent she still chases them but um, less and less every day so I guess that's a good thing but again it kind of goes against her nature of being a hound dog and kind of her instinct there she goes again be nice hope so thank you so much for being here today guys i truly appreciate you coming back if you enjoy this video if you want to follow along our journey with our new little herd of goats please consider subscribing to the channel and a like if you enjoy this kind of content and i'll talk to you guys next time bye guys <laughs> And he's so patient with her. So patient. So sweet. He really is a gentle giant. He really doesn't like the sun. He gets hot pretty easily. But the sun is good for him. Somebody's been digging. They think they're ducks now.